This is Mount Fuji, a place where artists of countless ages have come for inspiration. The snow-capped mountains and surrounding area is a perfect place to create beautiful pictures. Today I'm about to do the same, except with music instead of art. Will I be able to do it, or will clouds completely kill my chances? Let's find out. Well, good morning everyone. I'm at Shinjuku Expressway Bus Terminal, about to head to Mount Fuji. Actually,我每次来日本，我都待在大城市里面啊，所以这次算是在挑战比较有大自然感觉的地方。So uh, we're gonna go to Mount Fuji, make a song about it. Made Mount Fuji here. Uh, the weather is very nice. I actually did some preparation for the songwriting on the bus. Playing some chords, uh, think of some ideas of the directions I wanted to take for the song. I'll discuss it a little later, but for now we gotta go to one of the famous streets here in Fuji Yoshida. There's Mount Fuji right there. So we're getting a bit hungry here. This is around kind of a tight schedule. I guess we're just gonna get something to eat in this lawson. Kawaguchiko Art Museum. This place is very beautiful, especially this gigantic patch of grass. I'm gonna sit here and start talking about the direction and start writing something. Alright, so I want to talk about a little bit of the ideas that I have for this song. While I was on the bus, I was pondering exactly uh, what direction I should take this. There's also the problem of the lyrics because I do want to keep it Japanese but I don't speak Japanese. If you watched my last video I actually did the lyrics with AI but this time I decided I don't want to do that. I want to try something different. Basically it was down to two, two options is that uh, I attempt to write Japanese lyrics which is just not feasible for sure. Okay I'm not going to do that. Second option is that I can take an original Japanese song and rewrite it, which is actually what I'm gonna do. So I thought about it, okay, what is a song that would fit this uh, Mount Fuji, this image of it? And I just kept thinking of snow-capped mountains. And uh, there's one song that came into my mind, which was Mika Nakashima's Yuki no Hana. 
which was a very popular Japanese ballad in the 2000s. Alright, so on the bus I was also doing some work thinking about the chord progression and the original song has this sort of melancholic feeling to it. And so I thought about how the original was able to achieve that exact feeling. What it does is that the verse starts off major. Um, it gives that happy feeling and then when you get to the chorus, it becomes minor. It gives this kind of, I guess, contrast. So what I thought of is this pretty um, normal pop chord progression. It's only four chords, unlike the original, which has this like descending chord structure. It goes A all the way down. Um, you see this a lot in a lot of uh, Japanese ballads. I'm going to do a more of a pop song approach. Um, only has four chords. It goes C major to D major into E minor and then B minor. So we get this kind of thing where it's, there's two chords that are major and two chords that are minor. It also gives this kind of feeling that's neither happy nor sad. Uh, it's very cool. So I think uh, it matches with the song very well, with the lyrics very well. Um, yeah, so that's our chord progression. So I guess uh, what we're working with now is a Japanese song that is also R&B. How do you make this sound Japanese other than just a melody? I think it comes down to instruments we use, sound design that's in these tracks. Obviously every, not every Japanese song is like this, but I tend to hear a lot of sign based synths. So I've chosen this pretty cool, I guess, sign based synth. It has a little bit of dirt to it. So it goes like this. So I can play with some effects here. I've got Shaper Box open. Uh, I'm just gonna pull, I'm just gonna take this and set it down here. Make the beat to 1 16th about. And it'll give this kind of like oscillating type of movement going. And also, I was thinking of getting a bit more ambience, you know, because uh, this is a snow song. And so I've got some wind effects here. Yeah, it's uh, really cool uh, to help fill space out when your, I guess, your arrangement is in a more simpler phase. Uh, you can kind of build that ambience. Okay everyone, I got the arrangement done, everything's set up, uh, the video is already filmed, and uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go. It was a very nice time in Lake Kawaguchiko. Being able to see Mount Fuji was nice. Thank you so much. If you like my video, uh, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Now please enjoy the music. そろそろこの街に君と傷つける季節の過去し最初の雪の花を二人に寄り添って眺めてるこの時に幸せが溢れ出す甘いとか弱さじゃないただ君を愛してる